So now comes the part that you all have been waiting for and I'm going to teach you now how you can create your first product listing step by step. Before we move forward, just a quick reminder, make sure that you have your unique product IDs, your keyword research and your product images in hand so the process is a lot more faster for you all. So yes, if you have that, wonderful, let's get started. Hey everyone, I'm Ria Mittal and I work as a product evangelist at SellerApp and welcome to another seller guide where we are going to be learning how you can create your first product listing on Amazon. So before you create your first product listing on Amazon, uh, you have to create your Seller Central account. So if you haven't created your Seller Central account yet, check the description or the cards that are going to pop up on the screen right now and then you can learn how to create your Seller Central account. So yeah, let's get started. So creating a product listing, I feel, is the first important step that you take in your Amazon journey. And I know that process can seem a little bit complicated, but believe me, I'm here to make it easy for you. It is not complicated at all. So if you follow my steps, I will show you how you can create your listing without little to no mistakes. Also, if you find these seller guides super useful or have benefited from watching our videos, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel to join our seller app community so we can keep providing you with all these guys that make your Amazon selling journey a little bit more easier and exciting. Also, I want to add on that we listen to you continuously. So let us know in the comment section below what kind of videos you would like to see next and we will create them for you accordingly. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So now we're going to be talking about the things that you need to know before you start creating your product listing on Amazon, which is nothing but preparation. So prepping for your product listing, especially when it's your first product listing on Amazon is crucial because when a customer lands on your page, the product listing is the first thing they see. So your product listing actually acts like a salesman for your product. So this is really important that you need to prep, have all the information that you know that you need for your product listing and all the information has to be prepared way beforehand. Make sure that you have done your research as well and then go into product listing. We also need to understand that Amazon emphasizes on customer experience and your product listing does exactly the same. So even if you miss a thing here or two there, um, Amazon might not promote your product listing as you wanted to. So that's why we need to prepare beforehand and then make sure that we're not doing anything wrong while creating your first product listing. So let me take you through the first three important things that you need to do while creating your product listing. So the first thing is if you're selling a product which has, uh, which is not being sold on Amazon currently, you need a product ID. So product IDs are unique identifiers which are required for all commercial products. So you have UPC barcodes, you have EAN, which are, which are just variations of uh, GTINS, which is Global Trade Item Numbers. So there are a lot of websites which sell GTNs for a cheaper price, but you have to understand that purchasing these GTNs for a cheaper price might result in, um, you know, your listing getting suspended on Amazon. So just keep an eye out for that. So what you want to do right now if you want a unique product ID is that you have to go what Amazon recommends with and Amazon recommends GS1 IDs and you can purchase them from verified uh, resellers as well. So the second thing that you have to do for your prepping is keyword research. So keyword research is really important for your listings because uh, that determines how visible your listing is going to be on the platform. So finding the right keywords can get a little bit tricky, but don't worry, SellerUp has one of the best keywords tool in the market. Not only we have more than 16 geos, but we also base our keywords on relevancy, CPC, and so much more that is very important for you on listing. So make sure that you check out our keyword research tool. It will be on the cards right now or check the description below. So the third thing is make sure that you have enough product images. So product images are very important to your listings because um, customers are drawn to listings with really good quality images. So make sure that you have at least five to six images clicked off your product um, in a really good professional manner, in a really good studio. Amazon has certain restrictions on kind of images that you can upload in terms of background. Uh, there should be no text in the image and so on. So make sure that you do your research accordingly and get your pictures clicked accordingly. In my personal experience, I have seen images that are being displayed in their ideal settings or being used by a customer do very well on Amazon because it gives 
your customer a sense of feel of the product how the, it's gonna look when it's on in their hands so make sure that um, the pictures are clicked accordingly so the next thing that we're going to be talking about is product videos and I have seen product videos do really well in terms of conversions and it doesn't even have to be a very high um, you know professionally made video so this is what your videos should contain um, how a person can use this product, different attributes that you were not able to cover in your listings and so forth and so on. This will help a customer understand how the product is going to work and understand different aspects of the products and make sure that their purchasing decision is uh, better. So yes, it, we have also seen, um, you know, product videos do very well um, in reviews because when a person is leaving a review, they can always refer to the video and understand if the purchase that they've made is correct or wrong. So product videos is definitely something that you should look at if you haven't already. The only thing about product videos is you have to be brand registered. Do not forget to check out our video on brand registry which will be either on the screen right now in terms of cards or in the description below. So now comes the part that you all have been waiting for and I'm going to teach you now how you can create your first product listing step by step. Before we move forward, just a quick reminder, make sure that you have your unique product IDs, your keyword research and your product images in hand. So so the process is a lot more faster for you all. So yes, if you have that, wonderful. Let's get started. So the first thing that you have to do is to log into your Seller Central account and click on add a product. This will be under inventory. So let's add a product. Once the add a product page opens, there are two different ways that you can choose to add a product. If you are selling a product that already exists on Amazon, you can search for it within the find the products in Amazon catalog section. It, this method is useful if you want to sell electronic goods like smartphones, um, unique brands, product name, or if you already have an existing product ID. If you're selling a completely new product, then you can select I'm adding a product not sold on Amazon. And let's click that right now. After selecting I'm adding a product not sold on Amazon, you'll be asked to specify the category your product belongs to. Here you can either search for the required category or browse from the list of categories below. If you're unsure about which category you should be selling on, here's a tip. Go to Amazon and take a look at the products that are similar to the one you're selling and identify which category they're selling on. This will help you identify the right category for your product. So for this video, we are going to be selecting appliances and some dishwashers. So I'm going to be selecting this one. Once you've selected the right category, you will be taken to the most important part of the whole process, which is filling out the listing information for your new product. So first, I would suggest you all to click on advanced view here and then, then you can start filling in your categories as follows. So as you can see, this section is divided into seven tabs, which is vital information, variations, offer, compliance, images, description, keywords, and more details. So let's start with vital information first. So here you need to specify your product ID. So here you need to write the product ID that you have bought earlier. In the drop down menu next to it, you can select the type of product ID that you have bought. So for this video, I'm going to be writing a random product ID and I'm going to name this UPC. Next comes one of the most important parts of your product listing, which is title. That is also your product name. So your product name is the first thing that a customer will see in your listing. So you must create it with the right amount of length, keyword and attractiveness. You must place important keywords in the product name, but make sure that you add keywords naturally and that you do not bombard the whole title with keywords. Also, you're allowed to add um, 200 characters, but we suggest you add up to 50 to 80 characters in your keyword. So as I have selected a dishwasher, I'm going to write um, my dishwasher's name. So I'm going to write it Cellarap Dishwasher 500. So after the product name, you have to add your brand name, your manufacturer, your manufacturer part number, size, and everything else related to your product. So after you have filled that, you will be taken to variations. Here you have to specify the number of variations that your product comes in. If it comes with variations, you can click on select and you can select based on color, color name, color size, pattern, size, size name. So these are uh, the types of variation Amazon offers. So I'm going to go select color for this one. So we're going to choose color for this theme. 
So there are a couple of things that you need to remember. The first thing that you keep in mind is that variations depend on the product you sell and the category you sell in. Another thing that you have to remember is that each variation needs its unique product ID. So you need to buy each individual UPC codes for each variation you create. So as I mentioned for this video, we are going to be specifying our theme based on color. I'm going to write the color based on red um, and I'm going to add that as a variation. So as you can see that um, you will be asked to specify the SKU, product ID, product ID type, condition, your price, quantity and color map. The best part um, about this is that you don't have to fill this in right now and you can move to the next step without filling this now you can fill this up later as well so we are going to skip this for now and go to offer so when you go to offer you need to mention the sku or the stock keeping unit it is an identification code which is used to track a product for inventory purposes it sometimes provides the details about a product such as color, size, fit and other variations. So the next thing we move on to is price and you don't have to fill this in right now. You'll be given an option to update this once you have confirmed your price from the manufacturer. And the next thing that we will be moving to is fulfillment channel. So if you want Amazon to fulfill your orders, that will include uh, picking, packing, um, shipping and your customer returns as well you can choose fulfillment by amazon if you want to pick pack and deal with the returns yourself you can uh, select i will be shipping this item myself so for this video we are going to be clicking i will be um, fulfilled by amazon which is fba so now we're moving to compliance this tab is for sellers who are selling hazmat products so hazmat products in other words are products that require approval from amazon or other certain certifications so it depends on the category you sell in. For example, if the category you sell in is electronics, this tab will appear for you. Um, so as I've de decided to sell um, dishwashers today, so you can see that I have been taken to compliances in which I have to put in all these compliances certifications. If you don't sell hazmat products, you can just skip this and go to images. So coming to images, as I've mentioned already, product images are crucial as it is the only visual representation of the products that the customer is going to get. You also need to make sure that your images are crisp, clear and sharp. And you have to make sure that you are showing your Amazon products um, from different angles. So Amazon allows you to upload nine images and we suggest you upload five to six images minimum. You also need to understand that Amazon has set some guidelines for images. So if you click here, you can see that these are the guidelines which are set by Amazon. And I would suggest you all to read these before you start uploading or before you even click your product pictures. Additionally, you can use any image editing software to adjust the contrast, sharpness and saturation if you want to make your image stand out from your competitors. So after you're done uploading your images, we move on to description. So details tab is another crucial part. So make sure that you have spent enough time on this one. So under this tab, we have two main sections, which is key product features and product description. So starting with key product features, these are the bullet points for the description. So it is the first description a potential customer sees when they open your product listing. So make sure that these are well optimized. So keep in mind that these are limited to 100 characters per line and make sure that you make the most out of it. Make sure that you're adding all the important keywords that you have researched before into these bullet points, but do not stuff your bullet points with the keywords. Also, when it comes to key product features, you can add up to five lines of bullet points. So make sure that you are making the most out of it. So here's a tip. You need to make sure that your description and bullet points are captivating to customers. For that, you need to understand what the customer wants from your product and what you're trying to sell. So moving on to product description. So as you can see that you have a 2000 character limit maximum on your product description. And this is where you can explain further about your product. You can add details that you weren't able to add in the key product features section. You also have to make sure that your product description looks very neat and tidy. You also can make use of bold lettering, giving it ample space between lines so that the text looks good visually. I think this is a great, great advantage. 
Another important announcement that I would like to make here is that Amazon announced that they would no longer display HTML tags on product detail page after June 8, 2021. For the UK and for US, it's June 17, 2021. So if you have HTML tags on your product descriptions after these dates, HTML tags will be stripped and displayed without HTML formatting. So keep that in mind. Also, there are some cards on the screen right now, which will help you optimize your product description, your listing, how you can do your keyword research. Check the description box below as well for such videos that we have created in past. So next we move on to keywords. So keywords is yet another important part of creating a successful product listings. Tools like SellerApp can assist you in finding the perfect keywords for your product. So these are the two key areas that you have to fill up. So first is search term. Search term is where you add the necessary keywords, but remember that you should avoid repeating these keywords. And when you go to intended use, you can add use based keywords that could be based on activities, events, location, or conditions in which you want your products to be used. These keywords get indexed, so make sure you are finding some good keywords. So yeah, make sure your keyword research is on point. So moving on to subject matter, this is where you have to tell Amazon what your product is about. So for example, if your product is a Mother's Day gift or a snow shovel in used in winters, you have to specify it here because these get indexed as well. So moving on to other attributes, you have to mention any additional attributes that your product has. This can be about the portability or any additional feature that your product comes with. And finally, you let Amazon know who your target audience is by mentioning it here. And finally, you have to let Amazon know who your target audience is. So if you click here, they'll give you some options such as adults, female, male, unisex. If your product falls um, not into these categories, you can add your target audience here as well, such as cats, dogs, or anything um, that is related to your product target's audience. So once you're done adding all the information, just make sure that there is no red marks. Um, on top and that means that you have entered all the information also um, I just want to go back to um, offer so you can select let me skip the offer data and add it later please select this if you don't want to add the prices right now so yeah moving on to more details once you're done adding everything we are going to be selecting save and finish and that's pretty much it you're done creating your first product listing so there you go and it says your listing is being created. The whole process may take up to 30 minutes. And yes, if you want to change your listing, you can go on to manage inventory page and select your product. So just click on continue and it will take you back to your inventory page. So now we're going to be talking about things that you need to avoid in your product listing. So now that we've gone through the whole process of creating a product listing, I'm going to tell you seven things that you are not supposed to do while creating a product listing. So listen carefully and let's get started. So first you need to avoid certain terms such as best and free and Amazon verified terms like this will get you in trouble. Second is you do not want to use your competitors brand names in your listing. Third is do not use Amazon trademarked words such as Amazon's best and Amazon recommends. These words will get you in trouble. Fourth is uh, please stay away from keyword stuffing. The buyers don't like it. The customers don't like it. And even Amazon doesn't like it. Fifth, Amazon suppresses incomplete child listings. So if you have not filled out every single detail such as category and such, Amazon will take your listing away. Sixth point is do not add um, time sensitive information in your listing such as the sales end in 10 minutes, sale now, grab now. Um, Amazon does not like these terms. The seventh and the last thing that you need to keep in mind is avoiding terms such as free shipping because um, if you were selling it on your own website, um, it would make sense, but since you are selling on Amazon, avoid um, shipping promises, shipping duration, and shipping, free shipping, and so on and so forth. So before we conclude, I want to talk about um, the latest updates by Amazon uh, for the year 2021 for your Amazon listings and your product details page. So make sure to check the description for a PDF file which will talk about all the latest updates by Amazon. So do not forget to check that out before you create your product listing. 
So before you begin, make sure that you have your unique product IDs, you have keywords, and you have your product uh, pictures ready. Second, you have to select the add a product option under the inventory tab in your Seller Central account. Third, select the option, um, I am adding a product not yet sold on Amazon and fill out all the relevant information in the next seven tabs. And lastly, if you want Amazon to fulfill your orders, you have to click on the option FBA in the offers page. So that's it for today, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to click that like button and subscribe to our channel to join our ever-growing seller app community. Do not forget to hit the bell icon so you can be notified each time we either go live or post another guide video. Until the next time, happy selling.